Okay, so you're at the gun range maybe the first time or you're renting a gun. We're going to clear it. No matter who hands it to you and clears it, you clear it too. Empty the magazine, store your stuff in a bag or a container. I wouldn't just carry a gun out there with no case. We're going to head by and grab a target and we'll go out on the range and I'll show you what this whole routine looks like. I'm going to stop at this table and get set up for the range before I go in. I've got to have my eyes and ear pro on. I'm not going to lay a raw gun on the table pointing at somebody. I'm going to put my eyes on first, the glasses, and then the earmuffs. Easier that way. And then we'll head in. Now, you'll note these guys are going to make a mistake. They're not paying attention to whether the other door was closed and they're going to open this door before the first one closes. You can only have one door open at a time in the trap. Okay, so first thing I'll do is I'll set my bag or container down, but I'm going to orient it with the muzzle pointed downrange. Very important. And I'm not going to carry guns back and forth. One thing that works out pretty good is folding some of these paper targets it makes it easier to get them into the clamp. I'm going to send it out to five yards or 15 feet. I can also manually specify distance. I'm going to clear the gun again and lay it down in that recess so it won't fall off or spin around. And then I've got my magazine. Now I'll store my bag or container, but I'm not, again, not going to carry guns back and forth. I'm going to do all of that up at the lane. Okay, so I'm going to load my magazine and get my gun and my magazine, my ammo oriented, set up my workspace. I'm going to have it oriented just like I would draw it off of my belt or holster. Now, before we get started, sight alignment is alignment of the front and rear sights. But then sight picture is how that relates to the entire target. I'm also going to pick the gun up with my finger, not in the trigger guard, up on that frame. Okay? I also don't want to ever point the muzzle far right, far left, up or down. I want to keep it in this safe zone, and I don't want to ever relax the arm and let it swing down at the floor or toward my feet. Another common mistake is to allow the gun to follow your eyes, especially if you get some hot burning brass on your neck, don't turn around and don't rack or clear your gun with it pointed toward the rear. Everything's downrange. Now for trigger discipline, the only time my finger's gonna come off the frame and go into the trigger guard is when I'm shooting and on target. Sights on target, finger can go into the trigger. It's at home, it's at work. It's back at home or it's at work. There's no exceptions. When I'm done shooting, finger out. Okay, I'm gonna load and make ready. Notice that my trigger finger's outside of the trigger guard and my, my thumb is vertical to leave that grip panel open. That'll make sense here in a second. Seat it with one motion. I'm going to go over the top and rack the slide. Now the gun is hot and ready to fire now. So watch that trigger finger, keep it down range. I'm going to establish my stance. I'm going to establish a nice modern pistol grip with the thumbs forward. And with my eyes on target, I bring the gun up to my eye line. I don't bring my head down to the gun. I get a sight picture, take up the slack, and smoothly press the trigger straight to the rear. Notice how the only time my finger goes into the trigger guard is when I'm shooting. Finger muzzle discipline, finger muzzle discipline. And just take your time, shoot accurately. The speed will come later. Work on fundamentals only. Don't try to shoot too fast like everybody else. So I'm gonna finish out this magazine to see how the slide locked open. When I'm done shooting, my finger comes out. I release the magazine. It's empty, I can see that, and I also check to make sure the chamber and the gun is clear. The magazine well is, I can see daylight. I'm gonna check it a couple of times. Okay, I'm going to retrieve my bag or container. 
Remember, don't carry guns around in the range. Bring it back up here, muzzle down range, safely in. Magazine safely in. I'm going to retrieve my target. Analyze my hits. Looking pretty good. So now I'm going to clean up my area. I'm going to grab a squeegee and push the brass out of the way, clean all the brass off the little shelf area there. And then I'll retrieve my target and throw it in the trash. Or in this case, the target's barely used. So I'll, I'll hang it up and let some other customer have it. That may save them a buck 50. And then I'll grab my stuff and head out. And you'll see that I'm gonna make sure that when I head back to the store that this door shuts good before I open the other one.